Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Wildcat Insider, our weekly look at Villanova Athletics, as today we're joined by our female student athlete of the year, as just announced. I'm Nick Montaigne. Great to have you with us. The winner for this year is Mary Gadeka from our women's basketball team. Mary, thanks for joining us. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. You got it. Uh, Mary, when you heard the news, what was your initial reaction? Shock. Utter, utter <laughs> shock. You know, it's funny. I really had no idea that they would be even giving out this type of award. I didn't even know it really existed. Um, and then it's funny because my mom and my dad and all my siblings were around me. And prior, right before, maybe like 15 minutes before, um the ceremony started my mom's like oh my gosh Mimi texted me go put a nice shirt on like <laughs> make sure you look decent and because I was gonna go in with like a t-shirt you know because there was over I believe 300 people on the zoom call which was amazing that mm -hmm. that many people had the opportunity to participate um and then once they started with the awards I was like oh this is such and they were saying how how much of an honor it is and really it's like mm -hmm. the biggest honor any student athlete can receive when they're at Villanova and then when they said my what they he started Mark Jackson he started with how I my mom was here and at that point I was like oh I don't I don't think any other student athlete has a mom that came to Villanova <laughs> maybe as far as I'm concerned um so at that point I knew and it really it's just I was shocked because there are so many amazing student athletes um, that attend Villanova and to be able to, you know, be named the female senior student athlete of the year is just truly an honor for me. Yeah, that's great. Great. Mary, you finished your career sixth in programs scoring 1,555 points. I think I have that exactly right. Eighth <laughs> in rebounding. You had a remarkable career. Describe what made it possible to achieve these great feats. I think the people, and that goes from an academic and athletic standpoint at Villanova, obviously coming in, I knew um, kind of the culture just because my mom had gone here and she'd stayed right. really close to Harry and part of the program. Um, but you obviously never know what you're getting into until um, you really get into the thick of it. And, you know, all of my coaches, all the teammates that I've had the opportunity to play with the past four years, you know, every student athlete experience, uh, you have ups and downs, but, you know, I have nothing but positive things to say about my experience at Villanova from my freshman to my senior year. And really, Harry, Coach Joe, Laura, uh, Shanette, Mimi, Diane this year coming in, and all the grad assistants, everyone really has just been so incredibly helpful. The academic staff support, the administrators, really, really just everybody has left such a strong impression on me and those memories I will hold for the rest of my life really and I'm very thankful I mean I never would have been able to draw up a better experience for myself um, if I could have dreamt of it <laughs> yeah uh, this season was uh, very interesting with Harry Peretta's final season and you're a senior there were tons of injuries uh, kids graduated there was an 0-3 start and nobody knew what was going to happen it wasn't exactly the way everybody wanted it and then you guys take off have a terrific season highlighted by that great upset win over number 12 DePaul on senior day which was when we honored the seniors like yourself and Cam Mockin and it was Harry Coretta's final home game and the packed house just talk about this entire season. It was really a storybook moment uh, again and again, wasn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, that's, I couldn't have put it any better. You know, like I said, or like you said, um, Harry leaving and announcing that he's going to be retiring at the end of the year. We knew after he made that announcement, we knew we wanted to go out in a way that would honor him and that all the 42 years of alumni would want him to be going out and to be honored. Um, so we really took that to heart. And obviously starting 0-3, we lost a lot of seniors last year. Um, and we had a couple transfers. So we really didn't, and we were trying to find our footing in the beginning and we did stumble a little bit, but the one thing that really stood out to me this year was just how every single girl responded this year and just, you know, through all the adversity and through the troubles in the beginning with starting 0-3 with a, a team that really didn't have a ton of on-game, in-game experience. Um, the only, I think me and Bridget were the only two returning starters. Um, so that, that was a factor playing into maybe nerves in the beginning, but the girls, everyone really picked it up and everyone held themselves accountable, which was really, really important this year. 
um, and to get through that adversity. And I think we came out on the other side so much better. We were all really close and I think that also helped and everyone worked really, really hard. And like you said, that DePaul game, I mean, that really was a Cinderella-esque type story. I mean, from Maddie playing her butt off, being Harry's last game, Cam getting one, I think it was the second triple-double in program history. That's like unheard of. Um, but yeah, the whole the whole thing, and then just beating DePaul, who's one of the best teams in the entire country. They're just always so difficult to play, and we have such respect for them. Um, so yeah, this season, as a senior, like you can't write up a better story. And honestly, I wouldn't have wanted to go out with any other girls and any other team. Yeah, just as basketball season was coming to an end, and it affected everything was affected by the coronavirus, Mary. Uh, basketball season was played just about in its entirety. I feel bad for the teams that didn't get to play in the NCAA tournament and the schools that were affected by it. But I'm just curious how you and your teammates uh, finished out the year academically, socially, at home, and you got to play your season for the most part. But what, it was, what was it like for you over the last couple months just finishing out your career? It was pretty surreal. I mean, nobody could have ever guessed this is a very unprecedented right. time and nobody would have ever guessed that this is how, you know, we wouldn't be getting our graduation. We wouldn't, I didn't know when I was playing Marquette in the Big East tournament, that was the last time I put on a Villanova uniform. So that was a tough pill to swallow at first. Yeah. But, you know, obviously, like I said, the coronavirus is extremely extremely serious and important so we understood and you know we all we all of us we have a group chat so we talk basically every single day and you know we do these zoom calls and facetime so it's good to be able to keep in touch um it was hard because you know we were told that I believe April 14th would be the date that they would figure out if we're going to come back or not and obviously as the virus progressed we knew that it wasn't possible and then we were later told so um so that was definitely difficult but it's definitely good to have a group of girls that you can lean on and a group of girls that gets exactly what you're going through and then yeah. denise yeah. coming in and being called the yeah. hire and that was an amazing opportunity everyone was super excited about that so you know it was hard but obviously this is a very serious and important time so I think we all just feel really lucky that we have our health and we have each other you know to lean on during this difficult time yeah i curious if you've made your own face masks at home have you <laughs> bought any online I tried to make my own that it fell yeah. apart and I almost bought a Villanova one but they were sold out when I looked the next day so I oh have my to gosh yes yeah. <laughs> yep, my mom. So my mom's a, a home care nurse. So she has gotten a couple surgical nurse, um, surgical masks that we could wear. Um, my dad works in, he's in communications, but he works for a chemical company. So they had a couple of 95 masks that we could take. And my mom, actually one of her former teammates, I'm not sure who it is, but she actually made her, I, I don't know what year it was, somewhere between 85 and 89, I think mm -hmm. it was, or 88. Um, but she made all the teammates Villanova masks. Oh, so neat. they have the Vs on them and it's, <laughs> it's really cute. So she's yeah. been using that too. But yeah, it's, it's fun to get creative with, with what we have here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's official now, Mary. You and your mom can both call yourselves Villanova grads that both played for Harry Peretta in our women's basketball program. What will you be telling the next uh, group of family members about your both your experiences? <laughs> Oh my gosh, there's so many. Every Everyone always asks me, like, what's the craziest Harry story you have? But um, I think what I've taken away, my mom, when I, when I committed and prior to coming into Villanova, she kind of prepped me for all Harry's antics and things like that. But, you know, having somebody that has gone through the same exact thing that I've gone through the past four years has been such an amazing experience and it's almost made me appreciate the experience more because she knows exactly what I'm going through at every point in my basketball career these past four years so I've had the opportunity to really appreciate it and really be grateful like even being a student athlete it's a grind you know every single day you have something and then you got to balance academics on top of it and it can be hard you know if you can, you can get down pretty easily especially like when you're zero and three starting the season you know so um but my mom always allowed me to keep a good balance and always reminded me you know like don't wish it away you know be present in the moment because these are the best four years of your life and you're never going to get this opportunity back and you know i 
can't say that I always had that mentality and I was always present in the moment. Cause like I said, it is difficult. Um, but looking back and really during quarantine, I've really had the opportunity to reflect and look back on my time and just appreciate everything that Harry has given to the program and given to myself, given to my family. I mean, it's, it's truly unbelievable when you think about it. And, you know, I wouldn't be the person that I am today if it wasn't for my mom, but if it wasn't for Harry more so, because he's really paved the way for us and just the opportunities that he's given my family has been amazing. And just how kind and giving and caring he is to everybody, all the players that he's had, but you know, it's just really special. And I, I it's almost like, I keep saying storybook Cinderella, but it, it's almost like you can't make it up. And so I'm just extremely thankful. And I, I can speak for my mom too. She's just so thankful. And it, I, she would always say, it's so surreal to me that I'm <laughs> watching you on the same court that I played in the same uniform I played it like it's just it's all so full circle and we're both just extremely thankful for everything that Harry has given to us and to the program for the past 42 years yeah Cinderella can wear our basketball shoes and the glass slipper yep. <laughs> absolutely Mary I'm curious about your future plans what's next for you uh, come next year uh, any summer plans that you were hoping for trips maybe let's say if we get back to normal or career yeah. plans so right as in terms of next fall, I'm going to be studying, um, I'm going to be going for my Master of Science in Occupational Therapy at Stockton University mm -hmm. in Galloway, New Jersey. Um, and yeah, so that's kind of, it's a two and a half year program. I'll be in the classroom for two years and then I'll be doing clinical uh, for the last six months of it. So I'm really excited about that. It's an amazing opportunity. And also I applied to, I believe it was five schools and I got into every single school. And I think that's just oh, a testament <laughs> to the the academics at Villanova and how they set me up. And, you know, I, I, what, I wouldn't, it, occupational therapy is a very, it's very much the job growth is high and it, really really good so it's difficult because there's a ton of applications coming in and so it makes it very competitive so that's I think that's just a testament to how Villanova has set me up in my future in terms of summer uh, I have a shore house in Bringentine New Jersey it's right outside of Atlantic City so I'm actually planning on going there this uh, weekend for Memorial Day weekend right. with my family. Yeah. Yes. finally a change of scenery I'm pretty yeah. excited about it because I haven't been out of the house for yeah two, three months now, whatever it is. Um, but other than that, I'm just spending time with my family, just enjoying this time of relaxation because I haven't had a summer off. Every summer we have to go to at least uh, one summer session uh, just to yep. get classes in mm -hmm. and to make our schedules a little bit easier come spring semester when uh, basketball starts to ramp up a little bit. So this is my first summer that I'm going to actually officially have off. So it's almost a little nice. I'm kind of forced to relax and just take the time and appreciate it. So I'm excited about that. Good. You deserve it, definitely. <laughs> Mary, just let me say, just being able to call your games for years, I always get to see everybody play well and put in their hard work. But sometimes uh, all of us don't even realize what's going on academically. So when I saw that you won the award, it really just substantiated how well you do both and and congratulations on winning the award as our top female student athlete. And just congrats on a great career. We're going to miss you all playing uh, next year. Thank you so much. That really means a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Once again, that's Mary Gadeka, the senior from our women's basketball team, the recipient of the female Villanova Student Athlete of the Year Award for 2020. Mary, again, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm Nick Montagna for the Wildcat Insider. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you next time.